Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher again, coming to you from Reading Town. I hope you've been doing well. Let's take a look at today's article. Today's article has some very interesting pictures. So if you look at the title, Presidential Moth. So presidential is talking about the president, and moth is an insect, kind of like a butterfly, right? It's bigger than a fly, smaller than a butterfly. Sometimes it can be as big as a butterfly. And in Korean, moth is called nabang, right? So we know that this particular insect, this moth, has something to do with the president. And as you can see in the picture, this is President Trump, the president of the, Amer uh, the United States of America. So let's look at the article. It says, a Canadian scientist has discovered a new kind of moth in Southern California and named it after US President Donald Trump. So now we see the connection. So a scientist who's from Canada, he's discovered or he found, right, something new. He found a new kind of moth, right, and it named it after Donald Trump, President Trump. So that probably means there's a connection there. So I don't know if you can see it. This is the moth and this is President Trump. So he named it Neopalpa Donald Trumpy as has yellowish white scales on its head, which looks similar to Trump's hairstyle. So this moth is named Neopalpa Donald Trumpy. Right? And it's named that because it has scales. You know how a fish on the body, it has that hard cover? That's a scale. And just like that, it has yellowish scale, yellowish white scale on its head. And it looks like Donald Trump's yellowish white hair, okay? his hairstyle. It belongs to a bigger family of twirler moths known for spinning in circles on top of leaves. So twirling is when you spin. So when you dance and you twirl somebody, that's spinning. So it's a type, this moth is a type of twirler moths and what they do is they spin in circles on top of leaves, right? So that's how they spin, right? That's how they fly. The moth has a wingspan of only a little more than one centimeter. So wingspan is when they spread their wings and they measure how wide uh, or how how much uh, the wings can cover in distance. And it's only one centimeter, so it's very, very, very small. Okay? So I don't know if you can see the resemblance or see what they look like, how they look similar, but kind of. So this is a very interesting article, and it's in honor of the new US president, Donald Trump. Very interesting, a new type of moth. Uh, let's take a look at today's Comprehension questions. Here's another picture of the moth with the yellowish white scales as the head. A blank scientist has discovered a new kind of moth. So where did the scientist come from? Was it an American scientist, a Korean scientist? We said the scientist came from Canada, so we call that a Canadian scientist, right? Or from Canada. So a scientist from Canada. Neopalpa Donald Trumpy has yellowish white something on its head. Did we say this is hair? What do we say that it is? Yellowish white, that's right. Yellowish white scales, kind of like a hard plastic kind of feeling, right? And that's what it's on its head, to cover its head. And the last one, the moth has a blank of only a little more than one centimeter. So if you spread out its wings and you see how wide it is, right? And that's called wingspan, right? So the moth has a wingspan of only a little more than one centimeter. So very, very small moth, this uh, Neopalpa Donald Trumpy, right? A new type of moth. Let's look at the last part where we circle the correct answers to finish the sentence. It says the new moth was discovered in South Korea, Southern California, or South Dakota. South Dakota is another state in America. We know that this article wasn't talking about South Korea. And we said that it's in Southern California. So the southern part right, of California, that's where you can find San Diego and Los Angeles. Uh, the, lo the yellowish white scales on the moth's head look similar to Donald Trump's what? Wig, hairstyle, or hat? Well, some people think that Donald Trump wears a wig, but that wasn't part of our article. And you know that hat, Donald Trump doesn't really wear hats, so the correct answer would be his hairstyle. Okay, and the last question. The newly discovered, discovered means they just found it, right? They just found this new moth belongs to a bigger family of twirler moths. So we said twirler means spinning. Twirler moths 
known for, I just said it, right? Spinning, twisting, flying in circles on top of leaves. So we said twirlers or twirling, like when you dance or when you turn something, is part of spinning, right? So this new moth, it's called um, Neopala Donald Trumpy, right? This Trump uh, looking moth has yellowish white scales and they just found it in Southern California. So we name new insects and I think that's the cool thing. If you become a scientist and you find a new insect or a new bug or animal, you have the honor of naming it. And this scientist from Canada decided to name it after the United States president. Very cool, very interesting, kind of funny. And I hope you enjoyed today's article. Now you can share about a new insect that maybe your friends and family don't know about. So you can talk about this and maybe one day you will get to name your own insect. Until next time, I will see you again. I hope you guys have a great rest of the month and I will see you again next time. Goodbye everyone.